Welcome back, Gamer Nation. Stephen Thomas here with another episode of the Sir Francis Drake FC playthrough in FIFA 22. We've been doing remarkably well this season, and we have a lot of options at our disposal. We got a busy, busy episode coming up. We take on Wickham in the FA Cup, which I'm hoping we can play the way that we've been playing. Also, we've got some options with some of our youth squad that you all have actually given me suggestions on, and it was something I hadn't even thought of, of selling some of the players that we definitely will not be using. Obviously, our future left wing back is going to be Heaney here. He's 15. We were very excited about Simeonov, but he's a little bit older. I may actually bring him up, rotate him in and out a little bit with, uh, we got Adeyemi and Seawald and put him on the transfer list and try to make some money. I think we can get 750000 off of him. He's still growing. Uh, I just think uh, he can cover a lot of areas and he can cover both sides. So we'll bring him up and play him. And if somebody makes an offer, then they do. And if they don't, they don't. But I do think this is an option to do that because we're not too deep on left wing back. But we did just get Adeyemi. Uh, Seawald is on loan, so Adeyemi is somebody we, you know, will probably be the future. But maybe Simon and then Henny will move in after that because I think Henny's going to be in the 60s when he turns 16. So he's probably the future in that spot. I don't like him having the number 99, but whatever. Uh, when it comes to right wing backs, Watkins is worth the most. He's 17. He's going to be in the 60s. He'll probably follow Kalua and being the starter. And then we've also got Fernandez, who is worth just a little bit less than him, and he is already in the 60s. So both of these guys are going to be very valuable. So I'm going to keep them right now, and obviously Hernandez and Alonso on CDM. So our back line is looking really well. So what I think I'm going to do is call up Biscop and rotate him in and out somewhat now and actually put him up for sale as well. Um, I think between these two guys, they also can play center back that uh, we will be able to get some money out of them and make maybe a million dollars, and that may pay for another scout in the future. Some of these players down here, we may have to do the same thing. Um, I just don't know what their role is going to be, but for right now, that's the only players I want to bring off is Simeonov and Biscop. And uh, honestly, they're just to try to make money right now. If we get some utility out of them while we have them, then that's fine. Um, the value Simeonov was worth 600k and Biscop was worth 575. Now, if you're curious about what the other ones are worth, Heaney was worth 800k and then Watkins was 925 and 850 for Fernandez. So there's a step up from those three to the, the two we're going to call up and sell. But I think that's just a good attack. And somebody brought that up. And I really do appreciate all your comments again. Go ahead and hit the like button down below if you're enjoying the series and leave your comments. I do read them and I do appreciate them because you all give me different avenues to go down. And it is a game, so sometimes you want to be adventurous. So that's what we're going to do. So I'll call up them too, get them on the practice squad. We've got about a week before the Wickham game. And then we've got a couple of league games against Sheffield and I want to say Wimbledon. So good episode coming up. Uh, let's get to the first game. All right, right before the Wickham game, we got a monthly scouting report in. Let's see what we got. Looks like uh, ooh, Brazil has been very beneficial here. That one doesn't look like, oh, a two in the 90s. Three in the... This dude may be really good. Oh, my God. This guy, this... Oh my lord, we may have hit the jackpot here in Brazil. All right, well, let's clear out some of these guys. 140, okay. This guy's 130. So 76 to 94, 75, and then 70. So this guy's Garcia here is the lowest. He is worth 450,000. We're obviously going to bring him on just to see what he's worth. All right, so that leaves the two big boys. So let's see what Ribeiro is worth here. Holy crap! 2.3 million? Sign him yesterday! Holy cow! And he plays up front. That beats Alonzo. Alonzo was 1.3. 
This guy's worth a million dollars more than him, and he's not even the highest ranking one. Oh my lord. So let's see what the Sal's is worth here. Um Oh! Oh, okay, he's he's a fake. He's a fake. I don't think he is. Um I'm going to sign him just to check him out anyway. We'll see. All right. I think that may be it for Brazil. No, they've got one more. Okay. Connor Fagan's doing an amazing job. Um, yeah. Uh, wow. Okay. Let's go in here and check these out. So Garcia was a right wing. He is 53 overall. And he's 17 years old, so he's got to get some more speed. He could technically be better than Morris right now. Morris is a 61 overall, so he's got time to grow. Let's, uh, his developmental plan, let's get him set up on being an inverted winger because he could shoot some. He does need to work on his passing, but we'll make him a inverted winger. We'll work on that. I do like him being on the right wing. And yeah... The Sal's is in the 40s. I just don't think he's going to be that way. So let's go ahead and let him go. And then we've got Ribeiro, who's 62 already and a striker. Wow. Good agility, good balance. His free kick is already 67, 64 on long shots. So we definitely need to train him as a striker, and he'll probably step up into that role next season. Um, no, not not promote him. I just I want to let's see what we could do with just making him a straight up striker. Well, we definitely need to get his shooting up. He could almost be like one of those uh, the false nines. He's got great dribbling. Um. We'll move him to striker. We'll let that go. And uh, yeah, that is, we're pretty set top to bottom right now on a team just to walk in step by step. That is, wow. Okay, yeah, that was some good finds. Really good finds. All right, FA Cup matchup against Wickham here. They've got Hanlon, DeBar, Horgan up front, Thompson Gape in the middle. Obida, Grimmer, Tavazoli, Stewart, and Wakely in the back line, and Pazirbeck. I know I'm saying that wrong. Pazirbeck or something of that nature. We've got Schofield and Gold, Adeyemi out on the right. Uh, Seawald, Bentley, Lamb back line. Noel, Jago, Bravo. We've got Ojukwu starting in for Varga, Cornick up front, and Morris. I do have a couple of the new guys that we brought up on the bench. Hopefully we won't need them or we can bring them in there and have control of this game. But uh, let's go. Let's get a W. Let's move on. We simply have to focus on this man. Four goals in three games. You can't argue with that. The action is live. All right. Rainy match day. We got the green versus the yellow and white kits. I don't. I like their kits. We've been playing well lately. Let's see if we can keep that. Harry Cornick has been the hero. Lots of goals. There's a good interception. Gano. And we'll see if we can go here. And there says already Bravo. And Bra oh, Bravo slipped a little bit. Oh, I thought that went out. And we're going to come back the other way here. I'm a little upset. I thought we should have uh, had a little bit of better attack there. Bentley cuts that off. Send it up the field. And that's a terrible. Pa oh, good Lord. No foul. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. And we're trying to get Ojukwu. Oh, and Ojukwu just obliterated there. And that's already a yellow card here early on Gape. So we have an early booking here to report. Now, poor Ojukwu. He just gets demolished. It was Jago in midfield and now Ojukwu whenever he comes out to play wing. The bed specialist. Nice jerseys. Seawald brings that one in. Bravo passes it back. We'll go in the Cornick. Cornick 
Lots of room here. Oh, and he just couldn't get it through. He was trying to hit Bravo. Ojukwu over to Kornick. Kornick lets it go, and it's stopped by the keeper. And they'll try to play it back. Bentley. And he's going to go to Kornick again. Oh, and Kornick just couldn't slide it in there. He tried to go near side post. Oh. Too tight of an angle. Nice opportunities, though, here early for Kornick. Great pass up to Hanlon. Oh, what a shot. Oh, they almost got us on the counter. Very lucky on that one. They found the right slot. Just not a good shot. And they're going the other way. Jago's going to intercept that. Jago plays it up to Bravo. And Bravo. Oh, he couldn't get the shot. Jago brings it back down. They fight it back out. Adeyemi gets it. We'll play it back. No, no. Loses the ball. Gets it back. He'll go in the Bravo. Bravo trying to turn. Bravo. Oh, and then Kornick couldn't make the shot. We are going to end up with it again. Schofield. Or excuse me, Seawald. And that's just intercepted. Another interception, Ojukwu. The team is playing tough today. And there's Kordic. Oh, and Kordic just couldn't come up with it. The keeper an immaculate save. Oh my God, we're getting ready to go into halftime. And we just can't get anything to break through. Ojukwu's going to play it again, the Bravo. Bravo shoots and it's blocked by the keeper. And that's going to be a corner right before halftime. Bravo just come through there and powered that through. It looked like it had a chance to go, but the keeper gets to it. He's done amazing today. So the corner played into the box, and he clears the danger. Bounce back. Morris. Morris loses it. And they're going to blow the whistle there. No, couldn't bring it down, and his chance to stop. So we'll go to halftime. Nil, nil. We've had some opportunities. They've had an opportunity. Just nobody's broke through just yet. Jago plays that one way far up. And it is to Morris. All oh, the cross is blocked. Morris comes in again. Great move. Tries to pass, and it's just blocked by the keeper again. Keeper doing a great job. Oh, and they get that one through. Horgan, with some room, is going to play that up to the quicker the bar. Bentley is out to work on him. Now Seawald comes out. And that is to Schofield. Schofield going to play this one up real quick to Morris. Morris looking. Bravo. And they'll play that through. And that is to Noel. And Noel's going to rock it through. Oh my God, an unlikely hero. He's been making runs here lately. And all of a sudden that one does go through. And Noel puts it in. And we're going to lead 1-0. I... I saw him running and I was like, is he really going to go all the way in? And he just outran the defender. They just didn't expect it. And just blast it past the keeper. I mean, we knew he had good uh, free kick accuracy, but like, heck. That was a good shot. Let's go. Drake's lead 1-0 here in the FA Cup. Round two. Marvin Cano. 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 It's like a cut. Couple of changes for us. We're bringing in Shihao for Kornick, and Adeyemi is going out, and we're going to bring in one of the youngsters we caught off, Simeonov. Let him play. I'd like to bring in Biskup as well. Oh, that this is terrible defense that we're running. Oh, I was going to say, is that going to count? He had to be offside, and he is. The referee stone cold there. Oh, that was Lamb that... Oh, there's two of them offsides. Yeah, okay. All right, Seawald off. Simeon off in to get another youngster out there. Maybe let some people look at him. He's going to be defending here. 
run at the start. They kick it out. We'll take that. We should have a chance to win the game here. Ojuku has it. And he's going to hit Simeonov. Simeonov here is showing his speed. Oh, he tried to pass it back. And I think they're going to run out of time. And they do. And we are going to advance in the FA Cup. Canole, the hero, our center defender, making the run earlier. And that's going to give us the victory over Wickham. All right, taking a look at the uh, post-game summary. And we had the majority of the possession. I thought we played pretty good, especially there at the start. We just didn't get a lot of... Uh, we kept them from passing a lot. That's from holding the ball. 13 interceptions. They had five saves. Yeah, we just kept kicking it right to their goalkeeper. We finally got one through. We'll take the W. All right, so as expected, we've already got a deal for Luka Simeonov. Um, Hartlepool, who is actually League 2, has sent us an offer of almost a million dollars. I think we can probably get a little bit more for him. And that's kind of what we wanted to do. So let's uh, let's go in here and will and deal here. All right, they're up to 1.1. I went to 1.5. Let's go 1.3 and see what they say. 1250. You know what? I'll take that. All right, Simeonov. Glad you got to play a little bit for us, but he's going to go down to uh, League Two, and we get some money for that. So he was worth 600 thousand when we got him. We developed him and sold him for over double. So I will take that. All right, more youth scouting reports coming from Australia here. See, 70, 76, 94. So Josh Edwards may be a good one. 72, 66. So yeah, some of these 130, not so much. 130, 240, not bad, but not what we need. So Josh Edwards here could be our only hope. And he's worth 450,000. I'll bring him in just to see what he looks like, but I don't know if we'll be keeping him. All right, so Josh Edwards is 52 overall. He's 15. Looks like he does have some potential. I think I'll leave him here. I always let 15-year-olds grow a little bit and see what that potential changes to. And then when they turn 16, like Hernandez here, you see what their max is. And if it comes down a lot, then you know. So we'll, we'll hold on to him for now. All right, match against Sheffield, back to League One play today. <laughs> Windus, uh, Patterson up front. I want to say wind, you know what, so bad. Becker, Byers, Adrian, Adrian, Adina, Adina Moran. I cannot read words. Johnson, Palmer, Dunkley, Lorfa, or Iorfa? That looks like an I, maybe. Hunt in the back line, and Wildsmith and goal. We got lots of changes today. Kalua back in there. Seawald's going to play Noel. We got Almeida. Uh, in there, Bentley and Lamb still. Shigari starting at Cam. Vargas back in. Shihao going to get the start today. And then Koch out there on the right wing. So new lineup uh, just to give people some breaks. We'll see what happens. Uh, let's go on. All right, let's start the game today. We'll see if Shihao. He's still not up to uh, par as being in shape. We are the away team, even though we're wearing our home kits because... Our blue kits kind of clash with them. Oh, Shihao doesn't hold up with that. We'll turn the ball over here early, but there's Shigari. And Shigari looking here. He's tried to get the Varga. Oh, and this could be dangerous for them. We'll get that ball there. Here's Almeida. Almeida in deep. And that's going to be out for a corner kick here early. In the, it's just outside of uh, six minutes. No, that one is just headed away. We cannot come down with it. And they will play that one. An amazing pass. And he will mess up and Seawald will take care of that one with ease. Uh, and then we'll just give it right back. Play it down the side. Bentley was in the line. That's got to be offsides. There it is. A start. No, and it's an opening goal. 
And they will strike here early. Oh, I thought for sure he was offsides, but I guess not. Oh, Bentley blocked that. He had to be offsides. He was he was behind the whole line. No call though. So we'll trail one nil, and we're just gonna have to uh, play. The name I was making fun of just put us down. See how looking here. And that comes back to Almeida, who just launches it. Oh. Are you serious? And we equalize like that. Almeida just takes a shot from way out there. I love seeing the youngster get involved, and I think the goalkeeper had to misplay it, or maybe it was deflected. But we're all squared equalized. He sent it right to him, and he just takes the shot. Oh, and it's just off his hands. The shot goes in. He misjudges it. That, that's a little EA, but we'll take it. We equalize 1-1 here early in the game, and we've just had unsuspecting heroes. Noel comes up with it. Great pass there. Coach looking. And he's going to play that one forward. That's Varga. And Varga just couldn't play it. The first touch was so bad. He played it a little too far ahead. They're playing it up here again. Exciting first half we've had here. Hunt looking to cross. He's got a man, and Bentley will help knock it out, and they get a corner here. Varga doesn't make a good play there. He does there, but we'll knock it back. We still don't have possession, though. We're chasing. And it looks like we're going to go into halftime 1-0 here. And we will indeed, or excuse me, one all. And we do indeed go in tied at one. They took the early e lead, but uh, Almeida, the unlikely hero today. We had Canole yesterday, and then uh, now that, 1-1. One, one. Good play here. Bentley is going to get out there, though. Oh, and Bentley, what are you doing? I totally told him to pass the other way, and he just kicks it out, and they get a corner. So this could be a costly mistake. Varga will head that out. And this is dangerous, and Schofield will make the block. Another caught corner for them. Dewald sends that one out. I'm not sure what's even going on right now. We need to get this ball. It's ricocheting around. Oh, my God. We need to make some changes. Somebody's not doing their job. This is uh, this is getting too hairy right now. All right, Forsyth in for Ganol. And Adayemi in for Seawald. Just tired legs out there defensively. Lamb trying to cover here. Ooh, ooh, that was close. Try to bring this one up some. Oh my god! That should be a red. He didn't even he was already on him before like already on him before the pass was even there. That should be an immediate red card. Have a word, ref. Gari out, Pap in. We'll see if Pap, he's really good at getting goals at the end of the game. He's got a great turn. Another good defense play. He's going to hit Varga. And Varga, oh, what a shot. Tried to hit the low corner, just doesn't get it in. Keeper blocks it, we'll take a corner. Varga uh, bringing this one in. Not even a chance. Almeida gets it. Oh, 
Great defensive play by Hutchinson there. And, unable to keep the ball. and that may have... Oh my god, we just sit there and watch that one go right by. George Byers. And the attacking options so with lots of room here. Bad defense on him. We blocked the back hill pass. Briars looking in. in Lamp. What? What? How is that a foul? Have a word. Are you serious? And this is dangerous, dangerous here. Oh, no. No, not like this. It's been such a good game. I work uh, with the kick here. And the wall will deflect it. They'll get a corner. So we're not out of the woodwork yet. Off of, it's off of Shehal's head. Oh, good Lord. Schofield with a great block. We're in the extra time. They'll get another corner here. And he'll collect that one. Launch this one up. Maybe one last chance to attack. Kalua, just using a speed. Kalua. A Kalua fouled. And another yellow card. Finn Old Becker there. One last chance here. We'll see Kosh. It's blocked. Forsyth. Trying to get it to Almeida. Almeida and the ref's going to blow his whistle and we're going to end here. What a battle that was. That has been one of the most, like, crazy bouts we've had. Good grief. 1-1, though, at the end. We'll take a point. Looking at the match facts, they actually had a slight edge on possession. They had more shots than us, which is rare. We just did put things together. Now, you wonder if that's because Bravo wasn't playing that cam position. But they dominated a lot of the other stuff. So we're very lucky to come away with that with a point. All right, last game of the day, we got Wimbledon. Or Wimbledon is how some people say it. Uh, we got Ojuku starting today. Cornick up front, Morris. Bravo is back in there. Seawald, you know, Jago, Bentley Lamb, and Adeyemi out there at right back. They've got Robinson, McCormick, Chislett, and Kaya up front. Hardigan, Woodyard in the back. Uh, we've got Marsh, Hennigan, Jenkins, and Guinness. Walker, that's a cool name uh, for them. We're at home. Uh, Darren Drivesdale is the official today. Let's see what happens. More rain today as we get ready to get things started. Kind of hoping that we... Uh, and pass better than we did last game. Jigga will put that one up to Cormick. Cormick. He's going to lead that one for Adeyemi. Oh, and that one's going to be blocked. We Oh, it's a goal kick. They're not even saying he blocked it. Oh, unfortunate. Pislet plays it down the side. Brings it back a little bit. We'll play that one into McCormick. McCormick, razzle-dazzle. Oh, and that one's blocked. Let's see if we can pick this one up. And Morris does come away with it. And he's going to play this one forward. Morris looking here. This is where he's dangerous. And it's, oh, the keeper crashes into the side of the goal. He's going to stop that one. Oh, but Adeyemi comes up with it. Oh, they're going to call a foul. Warnick will intercept that one. Morris. Tries to play that up to him. Nice he is here. And that's a goal! What a pass by Kornick! And Bravo is going to put that one in there! The Drakes go up 1-0. Kornick started that whole play, bouncing it off his chest. Takes it in deep and then turns and sees Bravo. He had Bravo and Morris streaking. Hits Bravo and Bravo just puts it off the post. He went right back across the keeper's feet. Oh, what a what a shot. What a shot that was.
Drake's lead 1-0. He continues his run. Push inside here. Looking, looking. Showing patience. Looking for the equalizer. Oh, I thought we had that. And Lamb's going to come out with that. What a move. Cornick looking. Cornick strides it through. It's just not enough. One last chance here this half. Robinson pushes it up. Tislet looking. He'll go outside. He'll bring it back in. Bentley again. Jego. Oh, it's intercepted, and they're just just—they're really cutting us off here in the middle of the field. Bentley once more comes through, and that's going to be in the half. We're going to go in the locker room 1-0 in the lead. And some tough defense there at the end on both sides. Them getting the ball away from us. But Pablo Bravo has put us in the lead. Let's go. They're looking in here pretty good. Lamb again, good defense. Bravo looking here. He's going to play this one forward to Morris. Morris back to Bravo. We're going to give up the ball. They've really turned up the defense this half. Or in the mid part of the game, I guess I should say. Bentley, though, has been playing lights out. Jego, bad decision there. That's going to give them a chance to come back. And Bentley trying to come up with it. He will fight his way out with it. And once again, we just cannot hold on to the ball and get past midfield right now. That is a big hole in the middle. And Schofield will collect that and maybe settle down the uh, offense. Oh, what have you done? Oh, my Lord. Let's just clear this out. They're going to call a foul. A couple changes. Comatillo in for Canole and Biscop in for Adeyemi. We've moved Lamb up to CDM. Just trying to get some better ball handlers. Oh, that is so dead. Oh, my Lord. That should have been an equalizer right there. Rudini knew it. They... Oh, it would have been offsides. Okay. And Schofield will come up. Six minutes to go. He tried to play that ahead. That was a terrible throw. Trying to play some good defense. They take it out. They're they're slowly building up here. I don't like that. This is bad. This is bad. Schofield's there, but he's not going to get that one. I knew it was going to happen when they slowed up. Ah, oh, it's all because of that stupid throw in, and you all give me such a hard time about that all the time. I should have just launched it midfield, but the way they were playing, I feel like they were going to score no matter what. That's just the perfect bounce back off the keeper. Nothing he could have done on that. It goes right back to him. And with two minutes to go, we're probably going to give up the three points here. Yeah, look at that. Look at that grin. That's terrifying. That's nightmare fuel. So we'll see if we can put something together here at the very end. Oh my god. Another turnover. They may actually come down here and score and win this game. I would not be shocked in the least little bit if that happens right here. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure we just tripped somebody. Bentley doing everything he can. Oh, God, that's a wide-open doorway. Uh, no! Oh, it's off the post! Why did they get a quarter? It's six minutes. Oh, my Lord, it didn't even show the replay. Oh, here it goes. Oh, off the keeper and then still off that. Schofield with the save of a century to hold on to the point. But they got the corner here first. Oh, another big save. We're seven minutes of three minutes, supposedly. The computer just getting all the time in the world here. Oh, my God. Schofield didn't even get that. 
This biscuit, yeah, launch it. Let's take a point. Let's get out of dodge. My God, what a game. The disappointment. We survived there at the end. We were on life support. Our pass accuracy was in the 70s, so I was right about that. We probably deserved to lose that game. We actually got lucky to come out with a draw. So, I don't know what it was. They just cut everything off. All right, last scouting report. Uh, I think we're still in uh, Nigeria here. 66 to 88, 220. Probably not good enough for the team, so we'll let him go. And let's just make sure, yeah, they've still got one more month in each of these places, and then we'll recycle them, send them out. I've got a couple more names to let me know what you'd like to see, but let's see where we're at in the world. Looks like uh, next episode we'll take on Colchester in the EFL Trophy. That ought to be an interesting game. Round two of the Papa John's. You can see the list of matchups there. I know some of you are Colchester fans. We'll have to go against you, though, for this one and see. We'll see what the rest of the schedule looks like. So we have them, then we got uh, Portsmouth, and then it looks like we'll be taking on Bolton, I believe, uh, next episode. And then we'll go into uh, the transfer window. And that'll be really interesting to see what kind of offers we get and things like that. And that could be interesting. We got that big matchup at the end of the year, New Year's Eve. We take on our rival, Forest Green. So a couple of good matchups. Let's see what. Let's see how our League One standings look like. Oh, we're sitting in third place by a point. Still 10 behind Luton and Sheffield. I didn't realize Sheffield was there when we played them. So, yeah, some very close because a couple losses and you can drop out of the playoffs relatively quickly. We have Portsmouth. And they are 14th. And then what's our next one did I say? I think I said Bolton. Yeah. And they're in the relegation zone. Burton, not Bolton. Excuse me. Burton Albion. My bad. I'm still learning some of these teams. So interesting where we're at, but I guess that's where we're going to end the episode. So again, if you've not dropped a like for this series, go ahead and do that below. As always, leave me a comment. Let me know things. Thank you so much for watching. God bless. And don't forget, make good decisions. Special thanks to these March Patreon supporters. They're so clever, witty, and they're probably hiding from the authorities. Party Commissar, Kiana Handy, The Least Expected, Azur Rain, Nicholas Absher, Zachary McKinley, Critias.